Hello, welcome back to our vlog. So what I'm about to show you is some footage from uh, when we went out to eat most recently. We like to try to go out at least once a week for a treat. Oh, and I tried to make this cartoon character a hijabi, but as you can see, it turned out very uh, horribly, but you get the idea. Uh, guys, so this is my food today. Uh, I ordered a rice. So, pizza, amapan, and chicken, kebab. Enjoy yours, honey. Thank you, honey. You too. And about your food, honey. I'm having chicken spring rolls, basmati rice, butter paneer masala. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's begin. All right, I'm going to attempt to make dinner this evening, healthy dinner for us before we go to the gym. But first I'm going to remove my wedding ring so it doesn't get all damaged. But uh, now I'm just cutting up some tomatoes to make some uh, dakus. All right, and now I'm going to put the tomatoes on some foil. You can use a baking sheet. I'm actually going to place them um, skin side up and I'm going to put some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to make a couple of fish fillets. I'm going to try to make them in the air fryer. I'm sprinkling some lemon on it. This fish is called hamor. And yeah, I'm just going to put some lemon first to help the spices stick. Then I'm going to add a bunch of spices. Curry powder, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, black chili powder, uh, coriander, cumin, just like pretty much all of my spice rack goes on fish because I hate when fish tastes like fish, if that makes any sense. So I have to have it really spiced. We're going to add garlic salt onion powder and pepper. I love pepper. Bam. What I'm gonna do is kind of like gently pat it in if you will. So and then tiny Ta-da! I like super seasoned stuff. And then I'm gonna just rub the seasonings on it all over that fish. And then I'm just going to um, add some salt and pepper as well, I forgot to mention that. And I'm just going to flip it over and uh, do the other sides with the, uh, there's plenty of spices there to go around. So uh, just adding a bit of some more salt on the back And here. then I'm going to put some foil in the air fryer and I will place the fish side by side. I had just enough room, I was happy. I didn't think I would uh, have any room. I'm also uh, putting a couple of thin slices of butter on the fish. It'll help brown it nicely and not burn the spices. <clears throat> All right, so the roasted tomatoes are done, a little overdone, but they'll still be fine. And I'm just going to place them in my chopper or processor with two cloves of fresh raw garlic. All right, so I'm gonna make some rice and the first thing I'm going to do is fry some very thinly sliced onions in uh, the oil before I add the rice. So I'm just frying the onions. I want them to be brown like this. I want them to be like fried onion taste and not caramelized onion taste. So now I'm gonna add the rice, basmati, long green rice. It should have been soaking first. I forgot to, I was in a hurry. So just cook it with a bit more liquid and a bit longer. So I'm gonna just stir that around, let it toast a bit. And then I'm gonna add some saffron and water to the pot and just let it mix. I'm also adding one chicken maji stock. It's like chicken stock and I'm gonna let that dissolve. And I'm gonna add some more water, cover the rice, and I'm going to actually cover the pot with some foil. I find it helps steam the rice a lot better than just putting the lid. Uh, less steam escapes, I should say. And let it cook till it's tender. All right, and here is the finished iftar meal for before the gym. So we have the air fryer fish. It actually turned out better than I thought. It was really good and tender inside. Here's the uh, dakus. It could be a little thinned out more. I should have added a bit more water, but the flavor was on point. And of course, I have my mandatory yogurt, my salad, if you can call it that. <laughs> and of course, a plate of olives. There you go. And of course, first I start my iftar with uh, some dates. Yum. I'm only bringing my shoes, water, and earphones today. That's it. Quick workout. <laughs> so everyone keeps their shoes outside their apartment here, so we keep them in this little shoe house. My boots from Canada. <laughs>
So I am finding it very awkward and difficult to film at my gym. So much easier for Salah, but because women have more privacy here in Kuwait, it's so hard to film at the all women's gyms. So I'm not sure how much more I'm going to do. And it's just weird and awkward for me to hold the camera. And I mean, I can't put the camera stand and draw all the attention to me. So I'm just gonna show you a little clips when I can. But um, yeah, that's all I can show. It doesn't mean I'm not doing any workout. It just means that I literally cannot show you much. So you get the idea. I'm at the gym, I'm working out and I wish I could show you more, but I can't. So, so now I'm all ready to go home and as you can see I'm a little hot from the exercise, but it's all good. of two, count them, two marshmallows. He's here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. So how was your workout? I'm so tired. Oh, baby. <laughs> how was yours? It was great, baby. Good. Okay. Okay, baby. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> Yalla, let's go. Yalla. Actually, we can't go home fully. We're gonna go home, pick up some things, and then do some beach ASMR for you guys at night. So subscribe to our ASMR channel for that. <laughs> Post exercise sweat glow and coming nicely. <laughs> This is childproof too, help me.